Good morning, everybody. Holiday parties deserve fun, festive drinks. So to put some extra cheer in your season, we have one of Canada's best bartenders here to show you how to create some fun holiday cocktails and, of course, mocktails with a side of munchies to go along with. That's it. Welcome from Viaggio, Billy Killen. Thank what a name. So I love it. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, yeah. For the rock star life. That's, that's it. Yes. Yes. Pretty sweet. Right. Crushing it. Crushing it this holiday yeah. season. Not killing it. Not killing it. Crushing it. Okay. So what are we talking about over here? Because this looks delicious. So mm -hmm. we're talking about kind of festive drinks and food food pairings for the most part today. Okay. Uh, I kind of stuck with a theme. I picked things that I wanted to, that, that I found familiar and approachable for the most part with drinks and paired them with things that I want to eat during the holidays. Okay. So today we're starting with a Manhattan riff. So your classic Manhattan, something that everybody knows, old school cocktail, rye base, nice and big and bold. Um, we kind of Mr. Potato headed this cocktail a little bit, which is a really kind of oh, cool trick that deep. bartenders use. Isn't it nice? What do you mean, Mr. Potato? Like, imagine Mr. Potato Head. You got the eyes, you got the nose, you got the mouth on there. All of a sudden, so you can good. throw a mustache on. You can throw ears, and he's different, right? <laughs> right. It's a whole different guy. So you, you do that with the cocktail some. a little yeah. bit too, yeah. So classic Manhattan. We got the rye, we got the sweet vermouth in there for some like fortified wine, some body. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of Calvados, which has a nice kind of apple flavor. Mm. We're pairing that up today with some uh, cranberry and ricotta meatballs. Oh, nice. so how come you chose the meatballs? Uh, so rich on rich. It's a really, really kind of nice overall mouthfeel, over nice kind of rounding out with the, the Manhattan at the end out there. Uh, a little bit of Trace Deli Ricotta in there. Until I started working at Viaggio, I had no clue that you could do so many cool things with cheese. Oh, yeah. Yes, so Savory cooking with sweet. it is making absolutely everything better. That's all the way Speaking across. of cheese, we got a ton hey, of it on this board right here, yes. so let's get to pairing number two. Yes, I know no one's ever going to believe mm -hmm. that I actually made this, this but yes. it's, it's, it's so easy. It's so beautiful, right? Stunning. 100%. So you just have like some uh, thyme, and then you have the cheese, you have your fruit, you have your dried fruit, and you just keep layering. Mm -hmm. It's adorable, Instagram worthy goodness. <laughs> right? Crackers, nuts, the whole thing. You could just pick away. Straight out of Pinterest. Uh, yes. Super, super easy to. Everything <laughs> is available. Available at your grocery this? store. Can yeah, you guys see that it's a tree? Look at how <laughs> that is adorable. Isn't we that nice? aim to cheese so with beautiful trees. That's cute. <laughs> I okay. eat all the cookies first, then go to the cheese. Bucket. That's my little trick. <laughs> so what are we um, going to have this with, drink-wise? Cool. So drink-wise, so what I did, uh, I, I kind of chose cheeses that were super widely available everywhere. Mm -hmm. So Costello is the brand. You can get them at most grocery stores. They have a beautiful, like, Danish blue. One of these cheeses is called Tickler, which oh. is just fun to yeah. have on a board. You have a Tickler on there. It's a good kind of Tickler, though. It's all right. See a Parmesan. <laughs> you got the Parmesan on there, yeah. yeah. We're pairing that up with what I call a Pavel Royale, which is kind of a rum tropical drink. Oh. So I'm sticking with Florida Canyon rum. Uh, mm -hmm. This is my favorite. This is just super versatile. It's still tropical. It's got nice like bourbon age flavors to it. Kind of goes a little bit with everything. But uh, showing that tropical cocktails aren't just for the summer anymore. Okay, yeah. I was going to say. Compared up with some food, yeah. You're whisking so, us away somewhere <laughs> warm. Rum, the pineapple, a little bit of Aperol, a little bit of sherry. Top that up with a little mm. bit of cinnamon on there. So you actually use the stick and you grate it fresh. Yeah, which of course, is a, for sure. A pro tip for yeah, sure. Yeah, but smell it now. It smells oh, yeah. good. Delicious. Is it, it going to smell like? Christmas time? It smells like Christmas. Mm, yes, it With does. With the pineapple and the tropical notes that really bring out the cheeses, so especially good. the sharp Beautiful. ones that are going in there. Yeah, a little lemon zest. Yeah, a little lemon summer drink as well. Twist. Yeah, yeah. totally. Awesome, now, guys. this is another what beautiful is display. Yeah. So you grabbed a wreath and you used it as your base. Yeah, layers. I feel like are yeah. important for, mm -hmm. for presentation and What's whatnot. That? that is a spiced bundt cake. So a spiced bundt cake on top, and then we're doing a little mince pie kind of thing on the side out here. Come on! Yeah. That's so amazing. old school, old medieval recipe. A whole bunch of fruit soaked in booze, put in a tart. Everything's delicious. It's so almost it, too pretty to touch or eat, but I guess that's part of it, right? That it is. It is. It's, it's, it's all about the part. gram and yeah. all about Pinterest and yeah. posting those photos and vids, right? And this is this is rich. There's a lot happening here. What do you <laughs> wash it down with? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're uh, the, the Rule of thumb if you're having something sweet or desserts is you kind of always want the drink to drink a little bit sweeter. Right. Oh. So we're about to get to the interactive portion of this, if that's Ooh, okay. Oh, let's do it. So here, someone's going to do some uh, icing sugar on top of the bunk cake, if we can. Oh, yes. Amazing. Yeah. You get All that. Right. Perfect. It's and we're cocktail shaking. Okay. Cute. So, rum, yeah. sherry, a little bit of this fig jam. Again, everything's available at the grocery store. You can fig find it wherever. Jam. Fig jam. It's in amazing. The drink? Totally, yeah. How do you mix it Two in? Two little spoonfuls and shake the heck out of it. I was going to say, it's so thick, yeah. though. Look at shake it, the heck out of it. Look at what he's doing. This is perfect. Okay. That jam is now integrated. So, nice. then take that out, pour it into your glass of rice. What's in there? What's all in there? So, it's going to be rum. Again, sticking with the Florida Canya. Mm -hmm. It is just my baby, and I'm a bit of a rum nerd, so that's kind of what I go for for the most part. Uh, rum, we got a little bit of Amontillado sherry. So, kind of a dry, nutty flavor in there. A little bit of lemon juice, uh, fig jam. Super simple. Like two Four teaspoons. ingredients, two teaspoons. That's it. Come on, let's yeah. smell this now. Yeah. Toss it in and go. You can, oh, yeah, you can smell yeah, from yeah, here. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. It's awesome. That oh, yeah, that's, so good. Good. that's gonna be sweet. So, like you so said. the yeah. holiday flavors with the fruit and the mince pie and the fig that's in there that all kind of really yeah. goes together and whatnot. Uh, it's it's. Awesome. Now, All for right. the people who don't drink, it's like, well, what do I have that's cute and fancy and mm -hmm. fun and delicious that's not just uh, a can of something? So totally. what's this? This is our, uh, I call it the hip to be square. 
because it's great. <laughs> it's not alcoholic. It's hip to be it's square. Hip to be square. It is. It's hip to be square. Uh, for whoever your designated Rudolph is and your driver over the holidays, it is something that drinks like a cocktail, looks like a cocktail, makes you feel like you're part of the party for the most part, right? Sure. Yeah. So there's this product now uh, out and about called Seed Lip. That's what I use for this one. It's a non-alcoholic uh, distilled drink, which mm -hmm. is really fun. A yeah. uh, little bit of agave in there. We've got some citrus, got some rosemary, top it up with soda water, and you've got yourself a non-alcoholic spritz. Look at beautiful. how it separates like yeah. a beautiful ombre color, too. Totally. Yeah. So yeah, cheers to you. You want to yeah. go for it? Cheers to all of this. We're not allowed to drink I'm the booze until we're off air. Uh, I mean, not at all. I mean, yeah, not at all. Because it's morning. Before a complete <laughs> list of the holiday mocktails and munchies, and of course the cocktails, go to breakfasttelevision.ca. Cheers. cheers Billy, kill it. Crushing it. I can drink this. Yeah, it. Crushing it. I can. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Right.